Hi guys, my name is Hadeep. Today I'm going to show you how to create your class in Microsoft Teams. This is my 10th time to record this video because every time I want to record somebody at my house, they do say something behind me or sometimes they just yell at my name. So I always have to pause it. This time I'm going to ignore it. Okay, uh, you will hear my kids talking, my parents, my husband and my dog. Okay. Anyway, so, okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a team in Microsoft Teams. You make sure you are in Teams and then the way you create it, you just go to join or create a team. You click on create a team option. Okay, so you're going to click on class and here, whatever subject name you want to do it. So let's say I'll do, this time I'll do science. Science, 10. All right, next. Okay, so here, uh, students, teachers, I never add any students' names here uh, because I want them to do something uh, for me. Um, I don't want to create 30 names. 30 of them can create one name. Okay, so teachers, if you're co-teaching with someone, you can add their name and that teacher will have the same access as you do have it. Okay, so we're not going to do any of these two. Click on skip. Okay, so I'll just go back to the teams I created already and I will show you uh, what that looks like. Okay, so this is the one I created. No, there was one with the pie. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So under post, it will show all the discussions you have done so far. Um, whatever you do anywhere in your teams, it always will show up in a post. You, if you want to delete, you can just mouse over it, click on these three dots, and click delete. It will delete that tab. Okay. All right. Under files folder, you can create your files here from scratch. You can upload files from your computer. Uh, yes. I don't think so. You can create a links. Yeah. So you can create folders, organize yourself more. Uh, you can actually copy link and then take these files to somewhere else. Okay, we'll talk more about that later on. In the class notebook folder, at the very beginning, uh, you will have an option uh, to create a notebook for your class. I just created it uh, when I made this video before. As I said, this is my 10th time recording it. Um, I'll show you how it looks like um, when you have to create notebook. Oh, it's just simple steps. You just press next, next, twice, nothing else. Uh, once you create your notebook um, on that little arrow, so here are two folders created by default, collaboration space. This is where you put all your stuff, all your students can see it. And content library, all your students can see that. And then if you do have any students, their folder uh, will pop up here. You can see all your students' folders. You can see their stuff, but students cannot see each other's stuff. Let's say you have two students, um, they cannot see each other's stuff. I, uh, all students can see these two folders and you can see all the students and under assignments tab you can create a new assignment it can be uh, you can actually create assignment here um, and attach worksheets to that so let's see create here click on create okay so assignment quiz whatever you want to do so click on assignment you will have a lot of options here, add categories, um, the name of your assignment, what points you want to assign, assign to which course, all students or one student or a group, whatever you want to do, there will be options here. The due date you want to do, later on, today, whatever is that. Once you're done, click on um, when we have everything here, just click on the assign tab. I'm not going to create anything now. So here in the grades, uh, if you do have a student, you will see their grades here. I don't have any student here, so I can't really see anything here. Here in the Wikipedia. Okay, so I used to um, 
I was saying when we were told we will be doing online instructions, I was just thinking about Google Classroom because you can your structure course really uh, in a way that helps you to see everything um, in an order. Um, I was trying to stay away from Teams. Once I found there is an option uh, where you can structure your courses. So it's right here. So you can structure your course and add sections here. I have added already a few of them and I'll show you how to add more. See here, I'm going to mouse over it here. See that big plus sign? This is how you create sections. Click on that. Uh, that is going to be chapter four. I'll say linear equations. Okay, that's how you create your main sections. And when you mouse over, you can delete things. You can add right here. So let's say I want to add here lesson one. You can um, number them, the number list. You can bullet point them however you want. You can add a picture there. You can insert a table. Um, there are gazillion options here. See, so yeah, I'll do lesson two, lesson three, and then you can also create subcategories the way you do it. You just click enter and press the tab key. It will automatically take you to under make a subcategory for you. So lesson one, introduction. Um, maybe number two, there will be quiz. Number three, uh, what what can that be? Anything. Um, maybe chapter test. Whatever is that. Whatever you want. So now I'm just nothing is coming to me. I just put a chapter test. Okay. Uh, you can also do uh, click on if once you click on that comment section. And you can talk to students related to that chapter. So here will be discussion. It'll say hello. Okay, so that's that's the discussion part here. Okay. And click on these three dots. More options. You can move them up and down. You can copy that link and share it somewhere else uh, in this particular team. All right. So two more options. I created a website, Khan Academy. It somehow is not working for me. It seems like I have to have the uh, desktop app. When you have the desk, uh, desktop app, uh, you have more options. With that, you can also share your screen. The best thing about Teams, it has all the features that we are trying to use. Some of us are thinking to use Zoom, Google Classroom, um, Meet, YouTube, whatever. Teams has all those options, okay? Um, a whiteboard. You can use your whiteboard. You can share your screen with the students using the Teams, and I will make another video uh, after that. Okay, um, when you click on that plus sign, if you want to add more tabs, uh, you have a lot of these options here. So this is for a poll. If you want to just do a quick survey, planner, this is awesome app. I love it. You can uh, create a tasks and set up dates when they needs to be done. You can do a PowerPoint here, streams, website, which uh, this is how I added Khan Academy. Uh, you can do Word, uh, and there are more apps here. More you play around, more you learn. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to add any app here. So, yeah, that's all done at the top here. So, let's look in the uh, left panel. These are called the channels. Okay, so click on these three little dots, add a channel, and I already have two chapters. I'll add chapter three, trigonometry. Okay, click on that. Okay, so the channels, they are useful when uh, you want to structure your course uh, in a way that you don't want to see everything everywhere. Okay, so in under chapter one polynomials, you can do all your discussions here. So let's say if I do, uh, hello everyone, today we are going to learn about 
polynomials, how to combine break terms. Okay. So this this is where we can keep our um, notes based on a chapter. And here everything will be based on chapter two, chapter three, however you want. Okay. Under the notes tab, you can add your notes. You can use I. Uh, let's see what comes up. I think that's where your notebook is, your class uh, one note. Here you can add your notes. My computer is a bit slow, so I'm not going to wait for it to load it. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, see, it's a one note. Here you can add all your notes here, whatever you do it on your computer, and we'll just show up here. Okay, so when I go down into my general tab, see if I scroll it down. It's not working. Somehow it's not working. I wanted to show it to you. I think we're almost there. Um, polynomials. And the general tab. I just want to do add another one here. Let's just do a test. Because what I think every time you post something in the channels, they always show up in the general tab. Hmm. Somehow it's not. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Somehow I was thinking every time you post something in the poly in the channels uh, section, it, every, they always show up in your general tab. All right. I think this is all I wanted to show to you today. I hope you are going to like this video. You find it useful. If you do, please um, comment below. Let me know. I'll wait and make more videos. One thing, please keep in mind that this is my first video and maybe my 11th time making it and this time I'm not going to delete it I'll keep it as it is and uh, you can laugh um, however I made it so this is my first first very very first time making this video um, thank you very much and enjoy online learning <laughs>